Game Bob. So, originally this was supposed to be a three random games video, which then became four random games, which then I realized only one of them was actually a video game. So we're just gonna put one video game in this video, even though during the video I claimed it was three random games. Just go with it. Alright. See you there. Oh! Okay, I know this one is in fact a video game. So let's play it. Start. It's the same thing every year. Oh, okay. I see. It's my birthday. Oh, uh, you're all invited. You're all invited and you will bring me candy and presents. And if you don't, I'll kill you. And I'll roast you and eat you and I'll spit you out because you taste so bad anyway. That was the void. Oh, that's that was what the void announced, and the void is absolute. My God. Uh, what are we gonna do? I don't have any candy. Me neither. And I ain't gonna. The slight clue. Uh, what it wants is a present. Maybe more candy. Good luck with that. Uh, uh what what are we gonna do? Calm down, that's what. And after that, we'll drop by the human world and get some candy. But what about the present? Listen, Swell. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Human world basically has everything anyway. If we're ever going to find a good present, it'll be there. Right, you're, you're right. Uh, uh, you're smart, Slar. It's not. I'm not smart. You're just dumb. Hey! Screw you! <laughs> so you ready to go yet? Or do you want to sit here and cry some more? I want to cry, obviously. But we should go. Eshlar opens them a portal. I like it so far. Hmm. What? Something's wrong with the portal. Oh, that figures... Looks like it's a bit over capacity. I guess that means everyone else went to get candy too. Yeah, I doubt there'll be anything left for us in the big cities. I knew it, we're gonna die. The void will kill us and roast us and eat us and then spit us out because we taste bad anyway. Man, I'm getting so sick of your negativity all the time. Oh, sorry, let me try that again. Yeah, yes! Oh, yeah! Woohoo! We're all gonna die! Best day ever! <laughs> Wait, I think I found something. There's a good amount of candy in this remote location. So there's candy uh, for us over there? Yes, maybe not as much as the big cities. But given that everyone is going to the cities, this might actually be better. We'll be the only ones to get the backwater town. And we'll... We'll get all the candy there. Yes, I knew you'd figure something out for us. You're so smart and wonderful and kind and the best. Correct. <laughs> wow, let me add humble to the list. <laughs> uh, uh, let's get going, shall we? The duo hops into the portal, as one does. They're, they're two, so as two does. Uh, and off they go, into the human world. But wait, it's never that simple, of course not. Given how many creatures had hopped into such a short period of time, the portal had lost its juice. Shla and Eshla had just enough time to realize something was up, but not enough time to do anything about it. And so, something pretty bad happened. Uh, wh where are we? Sla took a, took a look around and realized there was no we. Eshlar! Eshlar! Where are you? Eshlar! But no amount of screaming could reach Eshlar. For where he was, it wasn't here. Oh crap! What am I gonna do? Shla decided the best course of action was to run around like a headless chicken. And that's exactly what he did, until he spotted something. <laughs> it was a dim light, a little ways away. 
So Sla slowly crept along, er, uh, crept closer to the light. Oh, a pumpkin lantern! How nice! It must be here to guard this house. A human house, I think. So there's probably humans living inside? Knock on the door, of course. They might also have be candy, yeah. Uh, uh, and all the lights are off. Maybe the humans are out right now? Uh, I really don't know. I'm just gonna keep knocking. Uh, sl Slot knocks on the door gently and then hides. No one answers. A good sign, may, may, but I can't be too sure. Slot knocks on the door roughly and hides. Still, no one answers. So Slot figures no one is home and starts kicking the door in. But he doesn't get far with that. After just a few kicks, someone opens the door. Guess they were home after all. Learn a little patience, will ya? I was already sleeping. Ah! Wait, you're not Valerie, are you? Uh, what, what, uh, huh? No, no. What I'm saying, Valerie wouldn't be dressed as a princess or something. Say, what are you supposed to be? Uh, I'm a, I'm a nightmare. Oh, a nightmare. That's scary indeed. <laughs> Here you go. Your men hand Slaw some candy. Slaw can't believe his luck. Oh my god, this is exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> I bet you were. <coughs> I bet you were. How did you know? Oh, <laughs> god, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm terrible. Say, isn't he here a little far to be trick-or-treating? The festival is at the town square, I think, isn't it? Uh, what, 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 what festival? Oh, you didn't know about it? Are you me here? You could say that. Well, little fella, we usually have a Halloween pumpkin festival for Halloween, obviously, Halloween. Uh, it's where everyone gathers to celebrate, and all the kids go trick-or-treating together. If everyone goes, why are you here? Why, I'm a tad too old for all that ruckus. But you should go to the festival. It's safer. I'm sure you'll find way more candy there than around lone houses like mine. Wait, are you saying there's a lot of candy at this pumpkin festival? Lots and lots of candy. Just head back to town and follow the lights. Alright, I'll start. Uh, I'll head over there. Thanks, human. <laughs> Take care, little nightmare. The old man closes the door and Slaw notices there's a path on the ground. Is this not a game? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. We're just gonna. It's fine. It's a narrative story. I like it regardless. You guys are enjoying it, I hope. <laughs> he must have been in too much of a panic to notice before. Following the road, he soon spots bright lights shining through the woods. This has to be the pumpkin festival. Maybe Eshlar is there too, somehow. Soon Sla- oh, soon Sla arrives at the town square. Even though it's midnight, there are lots of people. No one seems to notice him. Weird, I thought humans don't like my kind. But that old one was really nice to me. And no one here seems to care, even though I can tell they see me. Uh... Humans were supposed to scream and cry and try and kill us? Was that all a lie? No sooner has he finished that thought when someone attacks him. I knew it was a trap after all! Oh, I'll kill you! Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, my bad. Ah. A human girl releases her grip on the slaw and steadily steadies her footing. Thanks for catching me. Though she was the one doing the catching. I've never worn high heels before. <laughs> I have. And it was fun. 
<laughs> it was for charity. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, they're harder to lock in than I thought. But my costume looks great. I love how I, like, I just instinctively knew small human female voice. Let's go for it. Yeah. Uh. You can tell what I am, right? A uh, human? Ha. <laughs> I'm the Tooth Fairy. Uh. What's a Tooth Fairy? Uh. You don't know what the Tooth Fairy is? Really? Is that a type of human? No, no, more, or maybe, they're kind of like humans, I guess. Tooth fairies collect teeth. What the, why? I don't know, you get a lot of money for them, though. You don't even know? Even though you are one? Okay, smarty pants. What are you, then? I'm a... I'm a nightmare. Is that like a form of movie? Or from a movie or something? Movie? No, I'm just a regular nightmare. I, I, I'm mixing the voices. <clears throat> the music stopped. It scared me. That's cool, I guess. My name is Valerie. What's yours? Sla. Okay, Sla, wanna hang out? Sorry, I really need to find some candy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I really need to find some candy and my friend. Oh, candy. Let's go together. I'm sure we'll find your friend, too. Sla thought it might be good to have a kind of... Uh, a kind of, like, human tooth fairy around. She probably knows the ways of the humans. So they went to collect candy together. How long is this? I'm, hmm. I'm glad we met. I was just about to go home. Because all my... Oh, oh, because all my friends did already. I'm telling you, if you want to stay up late, you gotta nap during the day. But did they listen? No! Sucks for them. I'm gonna get way more candy than all of them combined. Where's the candy? Huh? You gotta go door by door. Come to think of it, I ain't never seen you before. Did you just move here? I I'm, I'm just visiting. Um, how do we get the candy? We'll knock on the doors. Oh, but don't knock on the ones without a pumpkin lantern. Why not? They're not part of the festival. They'll just get mad. Huh, so no pumpkin, no candy. Got it. Let's try Mrs. Bloomstone. She's nice. We might even get full-size candy bars from her. Before Sla can say anything, Valerie is already ringing the doorbell. Wait, I, I thought you said to knock. Uh, who cares? Trick or treat! Oh, what do we have here? I'm the Tooth Fairy, and he's my uh, nightmare. Well, then I better give you some candy fast before you steal my teeth and give me bad dreams. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Sla is beyond confused. The lady's words convey fear, but her demeanor seems delighted. The two of them are clearly threatening her. Why the smile? Oh, uh, shit. Uh, shoot. Uh, uh, shoot. The bowl is empty. Wait, just a moment. Uh, a tactical retreat. The smile must have been a fake one. <laughs> I told you she's nice. N nice? She just closed the... Sla loses a thought as he spots something from the corner of his eye. A familiar figure, or so he thought. Sla? Sla? Hey, where do you think you're going? Huh? What? The candy. Mrs. Bloomstone is just getting it for us. But my my friend, Candy Sla, Candy. <laughs> she she makes a good point, or she makes a good point. And just then the lady returns. Oddly enough, both of them get some chocolate bars. <laughs> Thanks, and see you later. See you later. Say hello to your mom for me. Okay, bye bye. 
As soon as Schlaw has secured the candy, he dashes towards the direction he saw Ishla at. Guys, I gotta say, I like this. Huh, uh, wh where? But he came here. Sheesh, don't take off like that. You saw him too, right? No, I had my eyes on the prize. This thing! Slaw watches in horror as Valerie takes a bite of the candy bar. What are you doing? Valerie, uh, uh you, you, you can't eat that. What are you talking about? Of course I can. But the, the, the void. The what? My, my spawner. It'll get mad. Oh boy. So you have one of those kind of parents. <laughs> uh... Boo! Don't eat candy! It's all poison and full of tags! No! <laughs> what the crap?! Yeah, exactly! So relax and eat some candy. <laughs> <laughs> this poor... this poor nightmare? It's... it's not mine to eat. Yeah, it is. At least eat the chocolate Mrs. Bloomstone gave. She's my mom's friend. I promise it's not tampered with. Uh... Should I keep it for the for the void? The void is kind of important. Um, I'm just gonna die. That's fine. No, oh, maybe I can eat one. Yeah, I won't tell. <laughs> Slob betrays the void and bites into the candy bar. It's delicious. Sweet, sweet betrayal. The best thing he ever ate. Oh my god. I need another. I know, right? <laughs> Listen, we're gonna get so much candy your mom won't even notice a few missing. It sounded weird to call the Void Mom, <laughs> even though you could say that. The Void was Shla's mother and father and God. The Void was his and Shla's and every other nightmare's creator. It is everything and nothing at the same time. In fact, the void was beyond time, beyond existence. The void is eternity, collapsing into itself. And while it is everything and anything and nothing at the same time, infinitely, I suppose you could call it mom if you really wanted to. Sla, however, did not want to. Uh, hello? Uh, what? Anybody home? Uh, sorry, I, I got lost in thought. Uh, chocolate is the flesh of gods. <laughs> Ew, that's weird. What? It's not weird. You're weird. No way, chocolate flesh? You're weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> and so the two of them continue their trick-or-treating. Say, Valerie, I've been wondering about something. Okay, shoot. I keep seeing all kinds of monsters around, but I thought humans were afraid of the of scary things like that. Are we playing monsters now? Uh, are I are we? All right then, let's see. Oh, once a year a spooky night comes, all the All Hallows Eve, and the scary creatures from the realm beyond come creeping and crawling around, like tooth fairies. <laughs> yeah, like tooth fairies. The scariest of them all. Anyway, they come and the only thing humans do to appease these demons is give them candy. Uh, I, I see. That's, I guess humans are used to it then. Because they don't seem to mind us. Haha, <laughs> yep, yep. They better be nice to us after all. Or we might play tricks on them. I'm just glad it's like that. I thought humans would kill me. No one kills monsters anymore, or witches, or anyone. Really? I heard humans kill each other all the time. Well, they... they do? Don't they? Valerie looks worried. Maybe she doesn't know that much about humans after all. Well, you don't need to worry about humans murdering humans anyway. Because you're not- you're a tooth fairy, not a human. Ha! <laughs> I guess so. Let's stop talking about that kind of stuff. Um, we got candy collect! Right? Yeah, let's, uh, get to it. They visit 
the, they visit several houses and get candy from almost all of them. Incredible. This should be plenty enough candy. Now I only need to find a present. And Eshlar. Valerie catches Sla marveling at his candy. <laughs> what do you think? I'm picking some good houses, huh? You are? I, do you know all these humans? I guess. Impressive. And they don't care that you're a tooth fairy. Haha, <laughs> sure! But I still don't get the teeth part. Why would you want those? It's not like you can stick them in your mouth and start biting things with them. All I know is that tooth fairies give you money for your teeth. Why? Maybe they're valuable? Valuable, huh? Yeah, I know some people collect teeth too. Like my grandpa, he turns bear teeth into necklaces and stuff. Do you do that? Turn teeth into necklaces? Ew, no way! Sla thinks about teeth. <laughs> With the void, like a necklace made of teeth. The more he thinks about it, the more he is convinced. It might be a very good present. But no one else would figure to give such a gift. But where to get the teeth? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Valerie probably knows. <clears throat> Do you have a lot of teeth? Huh? You seem like a skilled collector. You got all this candy. So I'm sure you're very good at tooth fairying too. Slaw knows you must flatter your target before asking them for a favor. <laughs> well, I sure look convincing. Got the wings and everything. Yeah, and the shoes. <laughs> I think I've got the hang of them, actually. Haven't tripped in a while. Right, so you must have quite the collection of teeth. Sure, and you must have all the kinds of nightmare fuel in your pocket. No idea what that is. I, I don't need fuel to cast a spell. Oh, spells! <laughs> so you're not only a nightmare, but a wizard, too? <clears throat> uh, no, I'm just a nightmare. I can cast bad dreams. Not That's just common sense. Sure thing, buddy, if you say so. And you should see the night terrors Eshlar can summon. What are those? The absolute worst thing you'll ever dream of. Oh! Okay. Anyway, I was just thinking of uh, if you could give me some of your teeth. Are you trying to tell me a joke or something? No, I, I need some teeth. I think they'd make a great present for the void. And I have to bring it a good present or it'll kill me and roast me and eat me and spit me out. You're scaring me a bit. Don't say weird things like that. What's weird about it? It's just is. Come on, we have some houses to visit. Looks like Valerie isn't willing to part with any of her teeth. <laughs> it's understandable. If the teeth are that valuable, it'd be a stupid thing to give them away that easily. But now Sla is sure. A necklace of human teeth is going to be the perfect present. <laughs> no. Still, Sla is a bit is a little sad. He thought maybe him and Valerie we're becoming friends. He must have thought wrong. It seems like Valerie would just like, uh, would be just fine letting the void eat Sla. Either way, the two of them decided to look for a place to rest. Aw. Ah, my feet are killing me. Sla looked at her feet. They didn't look so aggressive. <laughs> yeah, hon. I'm getting a little sleepy. Oh. Yeah, maybe that's enough trick-or-treating for tonight. Yeah, I think we have enough candy. Too bad we didn't find your friend. He probably went home already. Huh? What? What What do you mean, went home? I mean, it's pretty late. Most kids are definitely home by now. So your friend probably went home too, right? Uh, I don't think he would have gone home without me. He knows I can't even get home without him. Huh? Why not? Yeah, I don't know how to get back. He's the only one who took us here. That's 
bad. I didn't realize you were lost. I'm not lost, he is. <sighs> Valerie is very tired. Her feet are hurting from wearing big girl shoes all evening. And she ate so much candy, she's feeling quite nauseous. Her mom must be worried too. It's way past her curfew. Really, all she wants to do is go home. But she can't. She won't. Not until Slaw finds his friend. Ah, uh, alright. Huh? Let's go look for your friend. Really? Yeah, you can't go home without him, right? And we'll never leave my friend... And I'll never leave my friend in a pinch. Huh? You wouldn't leave me in trouble either, right? Because we're friends. Thanks, Valerie. <laughs> no problem. But first, I'm exhausted. Let's go wash my face. Maybe it'll refresh me up a little bit. Oh, okay. Valerie walks toward a set of stairs that lead down toward two doors. Sla follows, but is interrupted. Hey, you can't come in here. This is the ladies' room. Huh? Just wait here. It'll only be a minute. You don't know the reason they, that they're not a lady? Oh, okay. And so Valerie disappears into one of the rooms. Sla also disappears. Why, you wonder? Someone appeared from behind and pushed him into the other room. Esla! Finally, I thought that thing would never leave. Where were- Oh, where were you? I've been looking all over. I was telling you, looking for a moment to rescue you from that human. Now be quiet. We'll wait until she leaves. What are you talking about? What human? Where are you, stupid? That human you were just with. A realization dawns on Slaw. Oh, oh, no, 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 she's not human, she's a tooth fairy. A what? A tooth fairy, they're kind of like humans, but not really. Is that what she told you? Yeah, uh... uh... Listen, Slaw, that's a human. Everyone here is a human. How do you know? I saw lots of different creatures around earlier. That's because you're lazy and didn't look properly. Those are all humans in costumes, they're pretending. Why, why would they? I changed his voice, sorry. I don't know. It's a game, I think. The other one was hurting my voice. If you're going... If you're in a costume and knock on doors with pumpkin lanterns near them, you get candy. That's what I've been able to gather. I got candy that way too. I know, I saw you. And I was so scared, you idiot. What were you thinking? The... they... the humans didn't mind me. Yeah, that's only because they thought you were a human in a costume. But if one of them found out the truth, you would have been dead. I can't take my eyes off you for a second. Don't ever do that again. <clears throat> oh, she screamed. It doesn't matter now. I found you, and you're safe. I got us the candy. Shla shows Esla his candy collection, and just like that, all the anger and worry in Eshla's face vanishes away. Oh, wow. <clears throat> oh, wow, you sure did it! That's incredible, Shla. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is! Praise me more! The Vorgid's gonna love this. As long as we get a good present, we're set. And that, I know just the thing. Oh? A necklace made of human teeth. Teeth are apparently very valuable, assuming that wasn't another lie. A tooth necklace, huh? Eshla thinks about it. That's actually a pretty good idea. I can see the Void liking something like that. Right? Right. Get that girl over there. We'll pull her... Uh, we'll pull out her teeth and go. What? Her, hers? But she's the one who helped me get all this candy. And she's also the one who's been lying to you this whole time about being a fairy or whatever. Disagree. Listen, Eshlar. You said the humans are in costumes, and it's a game. Correct. Maybe she thought I'm in, a, I'm in the game too, and she doesn't know I'm really a nightmare. That much is obvious. She'd have screamed for others to help. So, uh, I'm thinking she didn't mean to lie to me. She was telling me she's a tooth fairy because that's the game. 
That's not the point. The point is she'll want you dead once she finds out you're not human. Maybe, but maybe not. She doesn't seem to mind a lot of things. So maybe she won't mind me, or you, or nightmares in general. I worry about you, Shla. Huh? You're gonna get hurt, or killed, or both at the same time. Shla? Hey, Shla? Ah, Valerie! Sorry, sorry. I was just worried since I didn't see you. Oh, is this your friend you were talking about? Yeah, this is Eshlar. Nice to meet you, Eshlar. I'm Valerie. Hi. Oh, right. I'm not supposed to be. Oh, oh right. I'm not supposed to be here. Sorry. Oh, yes, I... Shla. Yeah? We need those teeth. I I'll figure something out. We don't really have the time. The birthday party is going to start soon. Let's just get out of here for now. <clears throat> <laughs> there you are. I'm glad you found your friend, Sla. That means we can all go home now. Uh, I, I guess so. <laughs> Don't be sad. We can hang out again tomorrow. Probably not. Where do you live anyway? We can walk you there. Thanks. That makes me glad, actually. I didn't want to uh, walk alone this late at night. Say, uh, Valerie? Yeah? Are you afraid of nightmares? I guess they can be pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not all scary. I'm not... scary. Or, I'm not scary. Haha, <laughs> sure, I wouldn't mind a nightmare as small as you. Don't be so sure. Stop it, Eshlar. Alright, I live right through here. Thanks for walking me. Before you go... Yeah? Don't you want to see what Sla really looks like? If you're going to be hanging out later. That's... Aw, oh, that's right. I haven't even seen your face... Oh! <laughs> oh, that's right! I haven't even seen your face yet! No, that that's okay. I'll just wear this outfit every time. <laughs> What's that? Come on now, Sla. You can't build a friendship on lies. I haven't been lying. I've been honest the whole time. What are you guys talking about? Take off the hood, Sla. No, what the hell, Eshlar, stop it. You don't want to do it because you know I'm right. Quit it! Valerie doesn't know what to do. Why are the two of them suddenly fighting? Should she try to interfere? But she can decide Eshla manages... But before she can decide, Eshla manages to pull off Shla's hoodie. That's actually terrifying. Uh, what on earth? Well, human. Huh? Using Sla a gross, scary monster. Gra gross Eshlar, you think I'm gross? I don't, but the human does. Don't you? You, you do? Well, maybe a little. Oh. See, I told you. But it's not really scary. Huh? It's just, doesn't that, like, hurt? Not having the rest of your head? It doesn't... It, it doesn't hurt. Why... Were you in an accident or something? No, no, I was always like this. Do you get it yet? We're not humans like you. So Shla can't be your friend. Why not? Uh... Because humans are afraid of nightmares. Yeah, they kill us. I won't kill you. And I won't tell anyone you're a nightmares either. Really? Wait, what? Really? Yeah, we can be best friends. Really? Really? You hear that, Eshlar? Er, you hear that, Eshlar? Okay. Ah, uh, whatever. But that doesn't solve the problem, Eshlar. What problem? We need to bring the Void a present. A tooth necklace. Or it'll kill us and roast us and eat us and then spit us out. See, you're scared after all. Give it a rest. The void is scary for us, too. Hmm. Go home, human. 
Nightmares will deal with this nightmare problem. You said you needed a tooth necklace. Correct. I know where to get some. So you are a real tooth fairy after all. Uh, slaw. <laughs> no, I'm not. But my grandpa makes tooth necklaces as a hobby. We can ask him for one. Where is this grandpa? He lives in the woods. Follow me. Oh, shit. Hey, I've been here before. Oh, this is my grandpa's house. He's probably asleep by now, but... Valerie's about to knock on the door. Stop! Huh? We can't be seen by even more humans. He's already seen me, though. But he hasn't seen me, and I'd like to keep it that way. Huh, alright. Then go hide, I'll bring you some necklaces. Alright. The two nightmares sleek away, and Valerie knocks on the door. The old man emerges behind the door. Trick or treat! Valerie, my goodness. Why are you still out and about? Do you have any idea what time it is? I'm trick or treating! No, you are not. Come inside, I'm calling your mother. She's not coming. Just give her a moment. It's been several moments. I knew it. She was pretending not to be scared. So she could come... Or so she could hide inside this cabin. I think I saw human weapons inside. She must be telling that human all about us. Now. And as soon as they spot us, they will shoot us. Eschler, my... Oh my good lord. Why can't you see Valerie as a nice human? I admit, she seems nice. But humans are rarely what they seem. Ah, you can be so... She'll come out any moment now, so just wait. We don't have much time left. Any moment now. They wait, and wait. And then, the light in the cabin turns off. Why did the lights turn off? Looks like the humans went to sleep. Or they turned off the lights, so their own reflections won't block the, out the view outside. So now they can shoot us better. They're not gonna shoot us for crying out loud. Fine. So they went to sleep. I don't understand. Did Valerie forget we're, we're waiting for her? Well... Well what? The man was angry. She was out this late. So she, he probably told Valerie to stay inside until morning. Oh. That would be my guess. Or they're... Oh, or then they're going to shoot. Hm. Enough of that! Either way, we're hosed. We need to find a present right now, or we'll be late to the birthday party. Curses. I'm gonna peek through the window. No, you're not! Seriously, they might shoot. Come on, that man already saw me, and he didn't shoot. He gave me candy. You wait here, I'll go take a look. Be careful, Slaw. Slaw peeks through the window. All he can see is curtains. So like a proper creep, he tries another window. This one is slightly open. Sla! Valerie's peeking out the window. Valerie, have you been captured? What? No. But I can't come out anymore. My grandpa told me to stay the night. And my mom's gonna pick me up in the morning. What about the necklace? Don't worry, I found two finished necklaces. Which one do you want? What's the difference? One has wolf teeth, the other bear. What are those? What are what? Bears and wolves. You don't have human tooth necklaces? No, they're animal teeth. Uh, what kind of animals are they? Um, bears here are like, uh, I don't know actually. I've never, I've only seen one in the distance. But people say you absolutely can't go near a mother bear with cubs. They will definitely kill you and protect their kids. Huh, what about the wolves? Those move around in packs so they can't, so they, er, and hunt together. They're like really strong and big dogs, kinda. Um, what are dogs? Just wolves are dangerous, okay? Wolves, uh, will gang up on you and tear you to shreds. So wolves hunt in packs and will tear you apart. And bears will maul you to death if you go near their kids. Right, so which necklace would your mom like better? Hmm? I'm guessing because bear is more ferocious when they kill? Well, no. That's not true. Wolves will kill for fun. 
That's a fact. I'm kidding, by the way. That's not true. Um, <laughs> I'm going with the wolf. I'll take the wolf. The void likes tearing things to shreds, too. I think it'll appreciate the wolf's fierce fierceness. Okay. But my grandpa always says the world has give and take. He's probably going to make me do some gardening for him in exchange for the necklace. So you better come and help me out, okay? Sure, as long as it's out here away from humans. Yeah, we'll just tell Grandpa you're a weirdo who always wears a co uh, costume. <laughs> All right. I hope Eschlar comes to visit too. Yeah, he is uh, very cautious, but I'm sure he'd really like to be friends with you too. Yawn. I hope your mom likes the necklace. Me too. I I'll tell you how it goes. If I don't die, that is. Uh, Valerie's too sleepy to keep up with the conversation. She just nods off, half asleep. Good night, Valerie. Thanks for your help. Good night. See you later. Valerie closes the window, and Slav returns to Eshlar. Ta-da! It's Eshlar? Oh, I've been saying Eshlar. Uh, nice. Is that the necklace? It doesn't look like human teeth to me. Right? It's not. Let me tell you about the animal in this w in the human world. Ah, whatever. Tell me on the way. We can't be late. Slaw tells Eslar about the wolves and bears as they as the two make their way to the birthday party. They hope er, they had hoped to visit home first, but there was no more time. So straight to the party it is. It's my birthday. <laughs> My birthday, my birthday. Raisins and candy, give them to me now. Who goes first? Yoto! I see you have a lot of candy. But what about my present? We brought you wolf tooth necklace. And what are these wolf creatures? They're fierce hunters. They roam in packs and tear their prey to shreds. Oh, I'm very fierce myself. This necklace fits me nicely. Necklace might not be the right word. The void is too magnificent to have such a neck. So small, after all. But all the nightmares praise the void on how well it suits it. Yes, yes. I am akin to a wolf. And that makes you my pack. So celebrate with me, my pack! Eat candy! Eat candy! Tear out those heads! Everyone eats come candy, and more presents and are given to the void. But unlike previous years, there were no killing, no roasting, no eating, no spitting of nightmares that night. The void fancied them all a pack now, and had a plan brewing in his fearsome mind. Yes, we should hunt together! Perhaps the human world would be a good place to start with. The next day, Shla is in a great mood. Asha, could you help? Could you open a portal to the human world? You're really going back, huh? Yeah, I promised I'd help Valerie with pay for the necklace. I think we'll do gardening or whatever that is. I guess I'll come too. Huh? Really? Well, you need me to open the portal for you once you come home again. Plus, I owe her for the necklace. And I don't and I need to make sure we don't uh, you won't get caught by the humans. Right, right. Shut up, or I won't open the portal. Haha <laughs> Valerie will be so happy to see us. I need a longer coat, long enough to reach the ground. So that the humans don't notice I'm levitating. Right. And so Sla and Valerie and Eshaw became good friends. Valerie taught Shah and Eshaw all about the human world. Shla tried to tell Valerie about the nightmare world too, but it scared her. Eshaw, on the other hand, was still scared of humans. He was fine with Valerie though. The three of them had a lot of fun hanging out. Who knows what the future has in store for the trio, but for now at least, they're all, they were all happy. Happy end. Whereas, there's a twist. There's gotta be a twist, right? Oh, no, that's it! Okay! Well, that was... 
a long time. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I enjoyed the hell out of that. Like, even though it wasn't a game, it was a narrative story with choices. That's not a game, but I appreciate it anyways. I can't believe I found three quote-unquote games on itch.io ended up not having a single one be games except for the very first thing <laughs> it, I, I don't care it was fun have a good one i'll see you guys soon bye everybody love you click <laughs>